channel i hope you're all doing well if you're new here i'm ashley elizabeth and welcome to my youtube so today's video we've gone for this ultra dark grungy winged out to the hairline smoky eye now i am taking inspiration today from the unreal alexandra claire on instagram she is an amazing makeup artist from the uk from manchester took inspiration from her look today and i have to say it looks unreal it's come out gorgeous if you're into this kind of grungy extra you know blend you wing right up to your hairline kind of thing and you want to know how to achieve this kind of look then please stay tuned hello so i've already obviously already done one eye so i'm gonna go ahead and do this to this first things first we are going to take our Helene cosmetics stage eyeshadow primer and just on this fluffy brush i'm just going to brush that all across the eyelid just to cancel out any pigmentation or discoloration in the lid i'm just buffing that into the eye making sure to bring it quite far out because our eyeshadows are quite winged out then just patting over it with the side of the brush just to set it down slightly and then just whatever's left the excess just run on the under eye okay so the first product i'm going to go in with today is this nyx eyeliner pencil in violet and i'm just going to use that to sketch out the shape of the wing i want so i'm just going over sort of my upper lash line and then from my lower lash line i'm just going to drag it out towards my hairline just to create a nice winged shape Now once I'm happy with sort of just like the rough shape of the wing, I'm just going to take any old little fluffy blending brush and just start blending out that eyeliner. Now this will act as a guide for when we're going to go in with our eyeshadow next. So once that is all blended, I'm going to go in with this shade here from the NYX Ultimate Bright Palette. And just on this Crown C441 Pro Blending Brush, I'm just going to start packing that into the crease and then using that to set down the where we've placed the pencil liner making sure to take that under the eye as well where we've drawn the pencil this is one of them eye looks as well where you look at it and think oh shit what have i done but until it's all done it all comes together nicely in the end then just to blend out that that shadow i'm going to go in with this shadow from the same nyx palette just on a fluffier blending brush and just start ever so slightly buffing out that line for bringing this color a lot closer a lot further up to the brow bone bringing it out So again, I'm going to go back in with the deeper shades and just build that back up. Then just to add a bit more depth to the eye, I'm going to take this shade from the Melchior Cosmetics eyeshadows and this is the shade Prune. I'm just going to use that on this small Morphe M507 brush and I'm just going to pop that on the immediate crease. Just focus that a lot closer to that crease line and this brush allows you to get right in that crease and blend it out. And again, pulling that out as well, following the line of the wing. So I'm just going to pop on a cream eyeshadow across the eyelid and I didn't have a dark enough purple in a cream eyeshadow so I'm just going to take a little mixture of two of my Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 hour endless purple and I've lost the other lid everlasting navy and I'm just mixing them together on the back of my hand just to create a nice deeper purple shade so it sort of matches the eye look and just on this sort of flat brush from Morphe um, the eye credible set it hasn't got a name i'm just going to pack that onto the lid mm -hmm. 
and when I get to the outer corner I'm just going to sort of wing it out a little bit sort of in the same shape we've been working with then just to set that lid down in place I'm going to dip into my peaches and cream mermaids pigment just with the same brush I'm just going to pick up a bit of the pigment which has got this gorgeous blue reflect to it I'm just going to press that down everywhere we've popped the cream shadow just really working it in and make sure that's all pressed down nicely This is the most amazing pigment ever. And just to make sure that stays in place and doesn't move all day, I'm just gonna take a touch of my Urban Decay All Nighter Fixing Spray or any sort of setting spray that you have. Just spritz it with your brush and just then press back over that pigment. Cause that will lock it in place for the whole day and it won't budge. So when you open your eyes it won't transfer up either now i just want to deepen up that sort of outer corner a little bit more so i'm going to take this shade from melchior cosmetics this is black velvet and just on a pencil brush this is my i want to say c431 the name's completely rubbed off it's from crown brush it's just any regular pencil brush i'm just going to start packing that onto the outer corner and that brush is a little bit harsh so i'm going to go in with me morphe m507 again just to blend that out. And then also making sure to take that on the under eye as well so it all comes together. So now it is time for the under eye. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that mixture of the two cream pigments again, just on a little st short stubby brush. I'm going to use that in my waterline as my eyeliner. My eyes just completely reject eyeliner in the waterline, I don't know why. So as best as I can, I'm going to pop it on. And then I'm going to go in with that prune shade from Melchior and just set that down. Then all I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little teeny tiny smudger brush from Zoeva. I think it's a 226. The name, ironically, has smudged off. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with that prune shade and just focus that really closely to the lash line, bringing it right into the inner corner. Then I'm just going to blend that out with that purple shade from the NYX palette. So I've picked up a new trick for highlighting the inner corner and I found this on Tracy, Tracy Makeup Artist. I'll pop a little insert of her Instagram here and I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and just place a dot on the inner corner. Now this completely brightens up the inner corner, ready for you to do your highlight. So I'm just blending that out and then going straight in with my highlighter and I'm going to take a mixture of Blue Ice and Purple Horseshoe from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette and I'm just going to take that on this little detail shader brush from Zoeva 237 just pop that right on the inner corner okay so I'm just gonna pop on some lashes and then I'll be back for the face okay so I am actually gonna prime my skin today and I'm gonna take a touch of my Fenty Beauty primer just gonna take one pump of that on the back of my hand and just rub that into sort of my more oily areas I don't really tend to prime my skin because I don't really think it makes a difference but I did buy the Fenty primer and I am trying to give it a go so I'm just giving it a try and see if it works for me if not I'm just going to give up hope for foundation today I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in porcelain I'm just going to pop that on using my Morphe sponge And this is one of the best things about not doing your brows yet. Usually brows are the first thing I do when I do sort of an eyeshadow makeup look. But lately I have been trying out, you know, leaving them till last. And it has made such a difference. Usually I end up having to go back in and do my brows again. But if I just leave them to the end, then it saves time. These baby hairs. So next I am just going to go ahead and conceal. And as you can see, I have left quite a bit of a gap between 
my foundation and my eyeshadow because I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just going to pop that on and I am keeping this quite low today because I want to blend it upwards and not ruin all the blending work we've, we've just done. But just popping that in all the regular spots, the underneath of the eyes, the cupid's bow, the chin and then the centre of the forehead. And then just a little boop on my nose. So I'm just going in with the exact same Morphe sponge. And then for the underneath of the eyes, just I like to blend in all the excess along the bottom. I'll just blend in with my sponge. Dab, 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 dab that away. Then for that bit right by the eye, I do just like to take a fluffy brush and just lightly start blending that up towards the eye. So next I'm just going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick in the shade 220 Toffee and I'm just going to start adding some definition to my face. So I'm just carving out the cheekbones, the jawline and then just a bit on the temples. I'm just going to take this Real Techniques Contour Brush and start buffing that out. I'm going to go in my sponge again and just blend all those edges. So now it's time to set our base. So of course I'm going to take my RCMA No Colour Powder. Just using this Peaches and Cream PC02 brush. I'm just going to pack that onto the under eye. And then just using the excess just to powder down between my eyebrows and just and that's all I'm gonna to powder today. Lie, I'm gonna take the other side of my Morphe sponge and just bake under that contour line just to sharpen that up. So now it's time to bronze and I'm gonna take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan just on my Peaches and Cream PC03 brush. So for contour, I'm going to take a touch of this shade from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. It's on my Morphe R13, I'm just going to focus that sort of more towards the back. Then just whatever's left on the brush, I do just like to run up the sides of my nose. So next I'm just going to take a touch of my Urban Decay setting spray again, I'm just going to spritz my face at this point. And I'm going to go straight in with my Ofra and Nikki Tutorials highlighter in Glazed Donut. And then a touch above the temples and the chin. And then of course, we can't forget the nose. And of course my favourite place to highlight, the Cupid's bow. So I am just going to add a touch of blush to this look. I'm just going to take my MAC blush in Amber and Rose. I'm just going to stipple that onto the apples of the cheeks. Okay, so now I am going to go ahead and do some brows. Then I'm just going to go in with a touch of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate on my Zoeva 317 Wing Liner. And just to set them in place and make sure they don't move all day, I'm going to take my NYX Brow Gel. And finally today, I'm going to go and do my lips. So I'm going to take my NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Mauve. Mauve? 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 I'm going to say Mauve. For lipstick, I'm going to go in with my Primark PS Instagirl Intense Liquid Lipstick in like that. One great British pound and this is better than some high-end liquid lipsticks. 
So I'm going to do the Jamie Genevieve tip trick and just pat that back with my finger. And then I'm actually going to go in with some gloss again, primer. I'm going to take the Peach Oil Lip Gloss in Peach Forever, is that what it says? Okay, so that is the finished look today and just look how amazing this looks, if I do say so myself. Am I allowed to say so myself? I think so. I'm feeling myself today. I am. I am obsessed with how this makeup look has turned out today. So thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And turn on the little bell so you're there straight away. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching my video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.